Okay, my advice with all these questions is always draw a diagram. So I'm just going to draw a line and I'm going to put the various places on it. So we've got um, Chilton, which I'm going to call C. We've got Devley, which I'm going to call D. We've got Boko, which I'm going to call B. Okay, so I'm just going to put the information on. There's 31 miles here. And there's 10 miles here. And there's, uh, what is it? Average speed of 62 miles per hour. Okay, so we need to understand the speed distance time triangle, which I can quickly draw here. And it just means, uh, well, you just got to remember distance at the top. Speed and time doesn't matter which way around. You cover up the one you're looking for, and it shows you how to do it. So the first one, we're looking for the amount of time it's going to take. So I'm going to cover up the time, okay? And it tells me that it's going to be um, distance divided by speed. So the distance is 31. So I'm going to say um, CD time. Let's just get rid of that. It's going to be the distance, which is 31, divided by the speed. And 31 over 62, well, that, if I divide top and bottom by 31, that becomes a half. So it's half an hour. So we know if it's 9 o'clock here, that he leaves um, Chelton, he'll be at Devley at 9.30. Now the question says, how quick does he have to go to get there for 9.45? So that's 15 minutes. So we know that the uh, distance is 10 miles, and we know it's a quarter of an hour he's got. OK, so looking at the speed to distance time triangle again, let's just put time back. So what we're going to cover up, well, we're looking for the speed. So we cover up speed. It's distance over time. Okay, so D B speed is distance, which is 10, over time, which is a quarter of an hour. Now, over just means divide, so this is the same as 10 divided by a quarter. How many quarters are there in 10? Well, if you're good with fractions, you'll know you can do same change flip, same change flip 4 over 1 is just 4 and that's 40 so you'd have to travel at 40 miles per hour now you can do that on the calculator or you can do the non-calculator method which I've shown here